All right, so tomorrow is now today. So we're gonna finish off this with you guys. Um, it's nothing really new, it's just adding a little bit more to it. Um, so you did wanna separate it out. So let's break these apart and let's go through them. Uh, let's look at number one. So seven W four X to the zero. So if we break them apart, it's seven times W to the fourth times X to the zero. So remember the exponents only affect the bases that they're touching. So in this case, the base to the four is gonna be just W, not the seven. The base to the zero is just X. So because of that, this is gonna stay seven. This is gonna stay W to the fourth, but remember anything to the zero uh, exponent is just one. And when I multiply something by one, it's just going to be 7w to the fourth. Number two, 4x to the negative two. Um, I'm going to do this one over here. So remember what I just said, the, the exponent only touches the base that it's touching. So in this case, it's just the x to the negative two, once again, not the four. Uh, same situation going on here. It was just the W, not the 7. So it's just the X, not the 4. So when we flip this fraction, since the 4 is not attached to the negative exponent, it's going to stay up top, but the X is going to go down to the bottom. Remember, when we, when we flip it down to the bottom, we lose the negative exponent part, and we just get the positive number. So this is my answer to number 2. And number three, negative five over k to the negative two. Remember with a negative exponent, it's going to flip the, the variable. So if it's on the bottom, which it is, it's gonna flip it up to the top. So that top one is gonna be negative five. That just stays there. And then k squared. Uh, when it flips up, it loses the negative exponent because that's what happens when we have negative exponents. So there's my answer, negative 5k squared. Because nothing's on bottom, we could write it over 1, but remember we don't write stuff over 1, um, so we'll just leave it at negative 5k squared. All right, and the last one, we're just plugging in some numbers here. So x equals 2. We're going to plug in a 2 here. So we'll have 2 to the negative 1 and negative exponents flip the fraction. So we'll get one over two to the first, which is just one over two or one half. All right, so try the other three on your own, give it a shot, uh, pause the video, and then come back and I'll go through the answers with you. All right, number two, eight to the zero, and then we'll have b is going to be negative 2, so negative 2 to the negative 3. So remember, anything to the 0 power is just 0. So we'll have 8 to the 0 is just 1. And we do have a negative exponent here, so that is going to flip it down to the bottom. So we'll have negative 2 to the third power. And then when I plug in to my calculator, I do the math, negative two times negative two times negative two is going to be one over negative eight. When I plug in four for P, we get four to the negative three, which will just be one over four cubed. And when I do my math, four cubed is 64, so one over 64. And last but not least, eight to the negative two, to the negative two power, and then six to the zero. Eight, just gonna stay eight. Remember, there's no exponent that's actually touching the eight. The eight's not part of a base. Negative two 
um, that exponent is going to flip the fraction. So actually, let's write it over here. So 8 on top. That negative 2 is going to flip down to the bottom. And then 6 to the 0, remember anything to the 0 power is just 1. So that'll become a 1. So when I do my math here to simplify it a little bit, 8 times 1 is 8. And negative 2 squared, uh, negative 2 times negative 2 is going to be 4, which now 8, time, 8 divided by 4 can actually reduce. 8 divided by 4 is 2. So this whole answer, just 2. There we go. Um, so once again, you have some more, you have an LT check then after today. So make sure you fill that out after this video.